message boxes are a great way to turn a good spreadsheet into a very good spreadsheet and in this video series we're going to look at three applications of message boxes we're going to first look at a simple message box so if you've never done a message box before you can start here we're then going to have a look at a particular application of message boxes we're going to look at message boxes for confirmation seeking user confirmation do you want to do this yes no do you want to continue do you want to proceed that kind of vibe thirdly we're going to look at message boxes to provide user feedback now this is after we've run a macro you've done some work using code in excel then we want to give some feedback to the user we want to tell the user that something has happened tell them some useful information give them a kind of report summary so we've got simple message box message box confirmation message box to give user feedback these three applications are going to take your spreadsheet to the next level Let's get straight into the spreadsheet file. As always, you can download this file from the Tiger website. There's a link in the description below this video. Highly recommend downloading the file and working along with me. Firstly, a simple message box. So we're gonna go as simple as we can first. Firstly, open the Visual Basic Editor. Uh, to do that, the Developer tab, make sure the Developer tab is visible. If the Developer tab isn't visible in your Excel, Google Excel make developer tab visible. You'll be able to understand how to do it. Go to developer and visual basic. This is gonna put you into the visual basic editor. If you're on a PC, you can use the Alt F11, Alt F11 shortcut to do the same thing. Now we're gonna drop a new module in here. So insert at the top and then module. And we've got a brand new module here. We can see on the left in the Project Explorer, we've got two modules. So we just want a simple message box uh, to flash up. And let's say we want the message box to flash up whatever is in the selected cell. We've currently got cell D8 selected. So we want the message box to just flash, flash up Hernandez, which is the surname of this person. So how do we do that? Firstly, we've got to start a new macro. So sub, and then let's just call it easy message. There we go. So we've now got a macro. It's not doing anything. There's no code in there, but we've got to start and an endpoint. Now the line of code we want is message box, so MSG BOX. And then at this stage, to keep it as simple as possible, we're just going to say active cell, active cell dot value. So we've got message box, active cell dot value. And let's just play this code and see what happens. So let's hit the play button at the top uh, in the Visual Basic Editor. Hit this button, we can see Hernandez is flashing up, pretty cool. Let's try something else, just test it. So now the active cell is on Julia. So we're expecting Julia to flash up and there we go, pretty cool. I'm hitting the F5 key by the way, the F5 key on the PC will play uh, the macro. So we've just got um, the, uh, the value in the active cell flashing up there. One thing I do find a little bit annoying about message boxes is we get this Microsoft Excel as the title of the message box. Now we don't want Bill Gates taking credit, uh, although he has produced some excellent software. We don't want him taking credit for our particular application. So how might we change this so that we don't have Microsoft Excel? What if we wanted something? Well, it would be good to have something more useful to the user here. So how might we do that? Let's go back to the VBA editor. So if you say message box, active cell dot value, comma, zero comma, Zero is the type of message box. We just want a simple message box, so zero is okay for now. In the subsequent videos, we'll look at different um, words we can put in there to get different types of message boxes. And then we're gonna say our box. There we go. Now this third entry here, we put a text string here in uh, speech marks. The speech marks are important. This is the text that's gonna appear at the top of the message box. So let's play this again. Very good, and we can now see we've got our box and we've got Julia appearing there, uh, which is the value uh, in the active cell. So there you go, simple message box, not too hard, just a sing single line of code, but already we're into some pretty powerful VBA coding here. We're drawing out something from the spreadsheet, we're referencing an object in the spreadsheet, a cell, drawing out some information from a cell, and then we've talked about how to control the title of the message box too. So already just very simple, but with these building blocks, you can already get quite a lot done. I hope you'll join me in the next video where we're gonna take this to the next level, talk about using message boxes to get user confirmation. I'll see you in the next video.